I'm sorry uh, for the past 10 years of shows. And also... <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know it started. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so uh, I'm just looking at this book you're reading, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, it's a what's great. It, what's it called? That the, it's the one with the stuff on the front. It's great. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Read, read what it's called. Yeah, it's uh, dirty, dirty hand. Dirty, dirty. No, it's not dirty hand. It's uh, it's the new number one New York Times best-selling author Kim Harrison's book, The Undead Pool. Yeah, yeah, right. That's apparently right. it's about. It's about, you know, a sexy woman that's got a, a light-up ball in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in. Uh, what's it about, Jeff? It's, uh, it's about uh, 200 pages long. No, no. No, uh, about 400, 400 pages long. 400 pages long. Yeah. No, it's one of them magic books where, you know, magic happens and then there's uh, spells and vampires. Where's the woman with the ball in her hand? It's on, it's on page 14. No, oh, is it? Yeah. 14, yeah. Well, I don't know. I think I'll have a crack at this. Um, you know, I like, I like me a uh, fantasy. I guess it's fantasy. <laughs> Is it fantasy? Yeah, we've been living... Do you know, I don't know anything about it at all, honestly. I, uh, it's, uh, but it comes recommended by uh, Charlene Harris, who did the um, other books. Yeah. <laughs> she does the vampire books. She does the, yeah. uh, what do you call it? Uh, dead up, de you better look out. Yeah, you better watch it. What, what's it? The, the, the True Blood, yeah, the True, true Blood. blood. Yeah, yeah, you know about yeah. the, the, uh, the, um, the, uh, the va there's vampires yeah. and they're... They're, they like, they bl they drink blood. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're naked a lot, a lot of nudity. I haven't watched the show actually. Have you watched? Oh it? yeah, there's just just penises galore. <laughs> really? They sh do they show actual actual peepees on yeah, TV? That was that was actually. That's not really drawn me in. I mean, I, I mean a little bit, but you know, actually a lot. But no. Do they show peepees? Really? Sure, sure, yeah. Do yeah, they show know. like? Do they show peepees like when they're in? Uh, it, <laughs> well, I, I'm trying my best, man. I, I, uh, do, do they show um, <laughs> a, a, a gentleman who's uh, pleased to be there? Would they show that? Sometimes, sometimes. They really? Do that. Sure, why not? Sure, hell yeah. Jeez. yeah. <laughs> One day I'm gonna get cable. Then that's it. <laughs> But until that day, much like you, I'm stuck with this. <laughs> we'll be right back. Sponsored by Underwearness from Depend. Get a free sample at underwearness.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. That was really very inspiring. Very much so. Yes. Very good. Yeah, I heard the warm-up guy. <laughs> yeah. Before I came out saying, make his body wiggle. Wiggle. Yeah. Make it wiggle. Make his body wiggle with the blast of air from the organic <laughs> energy. <laughs> anyway, that's what happened. And he did this with his hand. He did that. Like a, yeah. 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 It, it, I'm, I felt like a chicken. <laughs> 
<laughs> do you ever uh, uh, sing you that jingle from the 1970s Scottish television? Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah all right. Yeah, yeah. Stay tuned, everybody. Yeah. No, there's a, there's a jingle I used to sing. Remember I used to sing this? I was, uh, if <laughs> I'm like an old dude now, yeah, aren't yeah, I? Like, yeah. You know, when I was a kid, there used to be a jingle for uh, chicken and, uh, on Scottish television when I was a kid, and yeah. they would sing, chick, chicka, chick, chicka, chicken. <laughs> Lay a little egg for me. Oh, no, it was for eggs. Yeah, that's right. Eggs, <laughs> eggs, eggs, eggs. <laughs> Chick, chicka, chick, chicka, chicken. Our homestead it must be, because that was the name of the thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's full of country goodness and Scottish naturally. <laughs> chick, chicka, chick, chicka, chicken. Lay a little leg for me. That's what it was. That's good, yeah. 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 No. Here's your challenge, young people. Here's your challenge. Get on the internet and find that. <laughs> Because it'll be there. You know, the, the other one I remember is this. I'll get on with the show in a minute. Yeah. But there's another one. There was one. Uh, I don't know why I remember this. It was. It must have been when I was really young. But it was for Anne French deep cleansing milk. Have I ever told you about this? <laughs> have you ever heard of that? Sure, yeah, sure. Have I told you deep about this? Deep cleansing. No, it was a deep cleansing milk for the ladies. But it was so kind of like swinging Carnaby Street in the 60s and all that. So it was like, it was like, what makes the girls that look good look good? Anne French deep cleansing milk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah. What puts a smile upon the face of the prettiest girls around the place? <laughs> I'll get on. Yeah. Uh, All right. It's a great day for America. <laughs> it is, of course. It is, of course. A great day for fight fans all across the country. Everyone's reeling about the big fight with the two Hollywood tough guys, Orlando Bloom and Justin Bieber. Yeah. They had a fight. They got into a, a fight in a restaurant uh, today. Who won that fight? I think we did, America. Yeah. Yeah. In this corner, weighing less than 100 pounds and peeing in a bucket. This guy. Yeah. And in the other corner, the beautiful princess from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. The fight happened. <laughs> I heard about this, I'm like, I'm going to work late. I, the, uh, it happened today in Ibiza, or as the uh, Euro trash pronounce it, Ibiza. <laughs> also, Dracula says That's it like true. that as well. That's yeah. true. In Ibiza. It's in Spain. Orlando apparently uh, threw a punch. Uh, just, oh, it was brutal, you know. Mascara was everywhere. There were <laughs> no broken bones, but sadly, a few broken nails. <laughs> Any, every great fight needs a great name. You know, Ma Muhammad Ali had the thriller in Manila and the rumble in the jungle. So, uh, what do we call this one? <laughs> Jeff, let's play what do we call yeah, the fight. Okay, all right, yeah, then. All right, I'll all right. start. Uh, the commotion near the ocean. That's good, yeah. I like that. The, the punch in the teeth in Ibiza. Oh, not bad. All right. Yeah. The, uh, the girly taunt in the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good, yeah. The effeminate fray in the cafe. <laughs> Fray, a fray. Uh, but I did restaurant, and then you did cafe. Yeah, it's kind of a fray, though. Fray. Yeah, I don't know. Do another one. No, go on. You, you no, go. you do another one. Okay. The the not a scratch on you in a spanya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, the kicking of the asshole in the land of Picasso. That's there. The one. That's the one. All right. Yeah. That's the one. You see. LA, uh, it's uh, very different. We're in the middle of a serious drought. Last night there was a huge uh, water main broke, though, and flooded an area near Beverly Hills with 10 million gallons of water. The entire town smelled like a wet Kardashian all day. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, when you, will you leave them alone? When they go away. <laughs> Or more likely, when I go away. That's right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> anyway, homeowners in the in the area, everyone was uh, panicking. I haven't seen people run away from water like this since R. Kelly's last video. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Craig, when will you stop going on about that? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, do you, are you worried about uh, Orlando Bloom and uh, Justin Bieber? Oh yeah, no, I'm so so torn up by it. <laughs> It's Arnold Schwarzenegger's birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Ar I forgot. It's, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger's yeah, birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, or... <laughs> why, are you, why are you applauding? Everyone has a birthday. Nothing special about it. 
it's, uh, it's his birthday, or as he calls it, <laughs> what does he call it again? <laughs> That's it, yeah. Arnold celebrated quietly at home with his friends and his families. <laughs> yeah. Craig, when will you... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Look, he may be getting up there, but he still looks great. Do we have a picture of Arnold? Look at that. Come on! Yeah. There you go. All right, that's it. Yeah, look at me and my Speedos. I look great, yeah. That's pretty good. Fantastic, yeah, exactly. Do it again, and we'll show the picture. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Why don't you come here and blow out the candles? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we're keeping it classy. All the way to Christmas. jingles from British advertising in the 1960s and 70s. Yeah. What makes the girls that look good look good? And French deep cleansing milk. <laughs> what puts a smile upon the face of the prettiest? Oh, there was another line in it as well. What do the guys that look for look for? <laughs> this is on TV right now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know there was another one? Uh, it's still on in Britain, I think. They used to, for kids, it was a little, uh, <laughs> it's a little uh, candy bar, a little, a little snack bar, right. a candy. It's called a fudge bar. And they used to, they used to think, now, this is the song, and you can check. It goes, a finger of fudge is just enough to give your kids a treat. <laughs> yeah. A finger of fudge is just enough until it's time to eat. <laughs> It's full of chocolatey goodness and very small and neat. <laughs> a finger of fudge is just enough. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, that's, yeah. yeah. that's the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Take that, John Stewart. Yeah. yeah. Who? <laughs> No, no, no. I, I don't have cable, so I was seriously... Asking. All right. Uh, uh, what time is it? Oh, it's tweet mail time. Time to take advice. This is from William in Tacoma, Washington. You ever been there? Uh, William. <laughs> uh, he says, uh, Craig, how come your horse's front feet are a different size to his back feet? Is that true? say I don't care that much uh, and uh, I wish I'd never asked really are you all right yeah uh, William uh, it's not a real it's not a real horse all right this is from Antonio in Dallas Texas you ever been there oh Antonio you ever been to Texas yeah a couple times yeah what did you notice about it it was big anything else galore there no, no, but I did have a finger of fudge. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? What the hell, man? <laughs> was, it, was it full of chocolatey goodness? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, it says, uh, Craig, uh, what is your resting pulse? Your ass and parsley. Uh, what is that? Some kind of... Uh, what? What are you doing? I'm legitimately laughing. 
<laughs> what a stupid question. Yeah, what is your uh, what, are, what are your bench press, Greg? Uh, what, are you, what are your bench? Uh, put your wrist ball. Uh, 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 uh. When you get in a good workout, where's your heart rate then? Yeah. 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 Do you do crunches? Yeah. <laughs> Penis is galore. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, this is from Keith in Milwaukee. He says, Craig, would you mind if I call you about a personal matter regarding myself and Jeff Peterson? Well, you can, but I don't... Oh, my... <laughs> Bye, please. I'm on the phone. <laughs> Hello? Uh, hi. I just, you just read my letter. Who is this? That's Kate. What, what, what did it say my name was on the letter? <laughs> I, Wait a minute. This is you, Miriam, isn't it? You know it is. Oh, I told mind. you never to call me, you <laughs> old bitch. I hate her. I'll give you a finger of fudge, you son. Ah. Whoa, whoa, easy. Wow. Jeez. I'm so I'm I'm sorry for being rude, everyone, but she drives. I I've had enough. <laughs> She's a horrible woman. Then. She's a terrible woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, How are you? Yeah. How are you? This is great. Yeah, thank you. Happy birthday, uh, ex-governor. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Oh, How are thanks. you? Did you have a nice time? Oh, this is great. Yeah, my, my, my cake was, was decorated with penises galore. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What? Did you hear What's that? Go What's going Did on you hear that? Why is he saying that? I don't know why he's saying it. I'll tell you what, you keep talking and I'll talk to him at the same time. Okay, great. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, I, 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 yeah, you know, it's pretty good there. Uh, no, I, 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 yeah, you the finger of fledge. I, 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 is good. Uh, yeah. uh, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. A hugely popular comedian, fantastic comedian. He'll be at the Punchline in Sacramento, August 23rd and 24th. Please welcome the legend that is Dana Carvey, everybody. Dana Carvey. Honestly, I can be sincere. Yeah. <laughs> Craig, can I call you Craig? No. Arnold, yeah, is, I don't know. Arnold is a friend of mine. Is he really? He did just call. Oh. And he has a CBS feed at his house. You know, Arnold. Let me, let me tell you something. Tell Mr. You know, Carrie Ferguson that <laughs> he's the one laughing now, but you'll be laughing later. <laughs> something like that. I had That's to do fair. it. It seems fair. I had to do it. Yes, you did. Oh, there he is. What is that? Is that like he's playing a keyboard? He used to, he was a piano player before his tragic accident. Uh, this show, because my Irish, uh, my wife's Irish cousin is here, he said, you know, because he loves this show, he says, I think really honestly it's for people who, you know, smoke a bit of weed. Well, it's certainly, they're so, certainly... So abstract. They're certainly not excluded from the show. What I think, I, I feel that... You are. Careful. <laughs> hey. Hey, Dad. What's your, what's your race in clothes, man? <laughs> I've never been on a show like this. I, 
I never have been. You on the are show the like... most relaxed host in the history of television. Well, that's because so I've got a if I'm, I've got a oh. All right. Uh, I've gotten a workout today, at least. That's yeah. Great. No, you look Let good. Let me tell you So anyway, that's a good thing, and you're very, you're very good chap. You're a great man. He, well, I, I just, I like the way you look. You look kind of Reservoir Dogs. I kind of like it. It's it kind is, of like, yeah. It's yeah. very badass. Yeah, it is very badass. You look like you could uh, take on some of the toughest guys in Hollywood: Bieber, Bloom, yeah. some of the real. <laughs> Oh, you know, you know, I'm like, uh, you know, I, I always wanted to be a New York guy. You know what I mean? I just want to be a guy who could, with no irony and nothing, go get out of here. You know? oh, no, okay. Come on, come on! Wouldn't you want to be that guy? What guy? What, what all guy? All those, all those Scorsese films. Just, well, you know, what are you, you know, hey, you going to do? What are you going to do? You got a snake? You got a snake? <laughs> what are you going to have? So a cup of Joe or something? Get Crikey. out of here! <laughs> You know, Wait, you guy, 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 listen, if you go to applaud every time someone cusses, it's going to be a very long night. I, I was told that we're on it. Um, it's just 1 o'clock right now, most of the Depending on your region, absolutely, yeah. Okay. Although you have to know that a lot of people are on the Internet now. I, oh, I've heard that, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I could have said get the freak out of here, but no, no energy. It's not the same. Yeah. It's not the same. So I mean, anyway. we could beep it and make it sound Gosh. the same, but it's, uh, it's not the same. Gosh. You know, I, I heard you Gosh. do a great Sean Connery. I do the best Sean Connery yeah. ever. Will you do this line for me? Yes. As Sean Connery, yes. I'm still waiting to be impressed. <laughs> it was in one of his movies. It was just a brilliant moment. I'm still waiting to be impressed. Like someone pulled out a giant gun, and there was Sean Connery. Three, two, one. I'm still waiting to be impressed. Perfect. <laughs> Scotland. I know. You know, you get, you get taught it in Scotland. Uh, you know, it's a, a preschool thing. Every well, all you children in here, let's start your lessons. Sean Connery. I, yeah. yeah. I only thing I could do with Sean Connery, I used to say that his voice, the Scottish accent, and the deep voice, you know, because you're a chick magnet. I mean, let's Oh, absolutely. You know it. Sean Connery could say anything to a woman, and she would just be turned on and be like, Hi, Mr. Connery, I'm your biggest fan. He'd say, uh, I've got some toilet paper stuck in my boot crack. <laughs> Are you maiming a girl getting yes. ready? Yes. Well, I didn't stand up and do this. But... <laughs> you know, I don't know. I mean, this that is... kind of turned me on a little bit there when you did that. You know what? And it's okay. I mean, we have a sexual chemistry. Sure, but we're, we do. We're yeah. both married men. That, so what? So was yeah. Oscar Wilde? What's your point? Oscar was wild. <laughs> I actually, I've been married for 32 years. Good yeah. Lord. Yeah. To, to, uh, to seven different women, but I yeah. love. No, I met my wife. She was 19. I raised her as one of my own. That's good. She was beautiful, and um, you know, I think that um, you know, a lot of 32 years. A lot of people are getting divorced in their 50s though now, because science won't let us die. Yes. So you're sitting with your spouse. You're, you've been married 30 years. You look over at him and go, really? Three, three more decades with this bag of nothing? <laughs> anyway. Hold on a second. Yeah. The views expressed by Mr. Carvey in no way reflect <laughs> my own or those of the CBS know. Corporation. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. No, no. So, that's what went wrong. How come you stayed married all that time? You know, um, well, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Hi, honey. <laughs> no, that's amazing. Well, I think that in I... In show business years, that's like you get married before you were born. Well, I understood that women wanted, um, they want a man who's strong, has the washboard stomach and the shoulders. They want strength in a man, but they also want a man who can talk to them, understand them, and attend to their needs. But, ladies, you can't have that guy. Because <laughs> that guy's got a boyfriend. <laughs> That's true. Could they be whiter? <laughs> They're pretty white. You don't do a lot of surfing these days, then, I see. I, I'm, I'm Irish, Norwegian, and Scottish, so yeah. I stay out of the sun. We, my ancestors live, lived in caves, and so we tend to, you know, well, I think, prune up. I think all of our ancestors lived in caves. If That's you go back, right. <coughs> excuse, uh -huh. me. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse <coughs> me. We all grunted for two million years. We were just in tribes going, yeah. oh, 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 oh. And then, and then some guy in France one day went, ha, oh, oh, ha, oh, 
<laughs> that dialect reflects the French character. You can't sound, you know, humble with a French accent. Try it. I have tried for years. <laughs> yeah. Try to say something humble. Like, uh, I am not a very important person. <laughs> Well, you, you sound like you are a very important person. <laughs> we have to take a commercial what? break. What? Yes! It's so fast. Oh. Can I come back tomorrow? No, 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 you can come back after the commercial. Oh, okay. Years later, you know. I know. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hi. oh hi. How are you? <laughs> and well, that's much. when my child was born. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Greatest day of a man's life. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, what are we doing now? Well, uh, okay. we're out of time. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Well, now, wait a minute. Woo! You don't just get to walk away. You can ask lunch. me. You want to ask me anything? Uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> how, how, how are things? Any audience questions? <laughs> I don't know if I ask questions, you then other people no. are going to want them, no, too. You know, they, would, they wouldn't want them. You know, uh, and then all other, the other guys ask questions. I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. You got the wrong guy here. I love what you do. You have a lot of props over there. Well, it's a, you know, it's a, it's yeah. a manifestation of uh, insecurity of material. <laughs> right. How did this show happen? <laughs> You know, I think that's a, a question I ask. It's myself. the greatest, weirdest, like, and that guy just sees union and he just stays in that thing. I mean, <laughs> well, hey, I, 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 I finished. Uh, can I just get my check and get out of here? I, they're not really shooting any cutaways of me. Can I, I just get yeah. my check? I, what, I, what's worse is the, the guy at the back, you know, is, uh, uh, can, we, can we see the back end of the horse a little bit? <laughs> Is, is this show, is this show kind of European? That's what, it's European in a way, right? It has a European sensibility vis-a-vis well, yeah, -vis Yes, European. I mean, I am a very important you person. You are a fucking <laughs> And now we really I are. I know, you're a very great person. The show's fantastic, you know. <laughs> you know, they can't all be tippery topper. You know, once in a while, you make a stingery dunga. Sorry. <laughs> I just love the Beatles. I'll do the Beatles all day. You're dressed a little bit like the Beatles. I'm a little like an early Beatles, yes, you know. I famously smoked a little marijuana with Paul McCartney once, you know. I anonymously smoked marijuana with many other people. Oh, uh, I don't advocate marijuana smoking, but if Paul McCartney hands you a joint, you do tend to toke on it, you know. Here you go, Dane. Have a tokey tokey dooty doody. Yeah, you know. I know. Great guy, great guy. But he's so humble, you know. That's what I love about him. Because the Beatles are, at this point, we know, just legendary geniuses. And he will just never takes it on. He goes, you know, how'd you come up with, you know, the White Album? You know, we sat for a plunker. You know, John had a guitar. I had a guitar. And we plunky plunker, you know. <laughs> and he said, John, you're still plunking. Yeah, I'm plunking. <laughs> and that's how we got Abbey Road. <laughs> Well, I think we've I'm all learned something. <laughs> um, we, 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 you we are, are you are a very important person, and uh, you are a very important person too. Well, be right. <laughs> And extremely gifted actress. You can see her in Eye Origins. Is that what it's called? Eye Origins. Since I've seen it already. It's amazing. <laughs> I just couldn't remember the title. <laughs> anyway, it's in theaters now. Take a look at this. <laughs> Brett Marling, everybody. Brett Marling. I 
and tear it up. No! Yes! Yes! Can I see what's on <laughs> No! <laughs> Those are our clues! No, there are no clues right. from now on. It's all white snow, never been trodden in. Okay, bring it on. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? You look great! Thank you. And I, I'm sorry I screwed up the title of the movie, I Origins. So have you seen it, or have you not I, seen it? I have not seen it you better you better go see it this weekend yeah i will is it open, opening this weekend yeah. oh, it opened last weekend right that's now i was out of town but you, this is now what were you doing i was in comic-con last weekend you were yes and what happened at comic-con uh things uh i was uh, i moderated the game of thrones panel game of thrones if i make that gesture will it make that sound too if you say game of thrones yeah. game of thrones Good to know. Yeah, there you are then. So if you ever need that in your life or you need attention in a restaurant, do that. And the noise will happen. The noise will happen. Yeah, the waiter will be like, what the hell? And then you'll come on over. And you... So if I'm on like a first date and it's not going that well and mm. I just do Game of Thrones. Will it, will it turn into love at first sight, do you think? No, it might turn into a horrible bloodbath though. <laughs> Have you ever seen that show? Um, I saw the pilot and it was there was too much blood for me. Yeah, well, if there's too much blood in the pilot, then you you're best to get out then. Okay, yeah. that's what I do, yeah. Hey, um, no, tell me about what happens in Eye Origins, though. Well, it's a story about uh, two scientists who think that they can prove reincarnation. What? Through the study of the eye. So they go on this journey to find his pa his lover from the past, who he thinks has been reincarnated in India. As I, now, the reincarnation, does it, like, do you come back as an animal, or is it always a human? Always a human. Oh, no, you know, this could be just come on. early on in their investigation. You know, I mean, you could come back as Jeff, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, think the, I think the thing about Jeff is the, the whole premise is, is he never really left. He never yeah. really came really came back. Yeah, do you, you believe in reincarnation? Come on. I think it's probably not that literal, you know? Right, like, right, I think right. you maybe turn into, like, some sort of energy field that becomes part of a tree or something. Well, I think that, you know, everything in the universe exists. The, uh, all your molecules were, you know, uh, sadly, not always composed as you, which seems a terrible mistake. Right. Um, we're and when, stardust. Yes, we're and when stardust. you break down, you become other things. Yeah. For example, you and I could have been part of the same person at some point. Oh, right, or the same star, or the same tree. Well, that's or beautiful. The... Yeah. Yeah. We're getting really poetic today. Well, we are poetic. Yeah, We're poetic you people. You are, yeah. I am quite poetic. You're kind yeah. of a poem of a man, yeah. I am. Do you, leave, do you read poetry? I read a lot of poetry. Do you really? What kind of yeah. poetry do you read? I'm reading a lot of Raymond Carver right now. Holy crackers. Yeah. That's a clever. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send you a copy. Okay. Yeah. You're, I heard you're into, um, have you been reading the Red Book? I heard something about Oh, your... the Young Thing? Yeah, I've got a copy of it. Well, it's in German, so I haven't been reading it that much, but, uh... You, you, can't, you don't have somebody who maybe could translate for Well, me. I have a German in my house who comes around and, you know... <laughs> Talks do you about... just look at the pictures? Yes, I do, actually. Yeah. Well, the calligraphy is spectacular. It's stunning. Unbelievable, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, we're talking about the Red Book? Yeah. You started it. Did I? Yeah, you said we were stardust. No, you said that. Well, you said we were molecules, like, from all through time. Or you well, got... it's just that I don't know. No, it's not often Carl Jung comes up when we're talking in here. I mean, I'm happy that he has. I yeah. love Jung. He was insane and brilliant. He was insane and brilliant. Yeah. I think he was probably insane, though. Are you, have you been analyzed before? <laughs> Why, yes, I have. Are you, uh... <laughs> this is not a pipe. <laughs> is that not a snake? No. <laughs> what are we doing, audience? You don't know. Just go ahead and clap. Uh, the, uh... No, I received analysis. Why only today? Once a week I get analysis. What did they tell you today? Oh, just uh, some stuff. <laughs> you don't want to share? Yes. Is it like patient, you know, confidentiality? Well, I think it's more, uh, it's more about, you know, uh, your dirty laundry, really, right, isn't right. it? I mean, do you get psychoanalysis? I have, I have, yeah. But you stopped? I stopped. Why? I'm intrigued by that. Yeah, well... Because I started traveling a lot, and right. I felt like I was doing my therapy on the plane, honestly, by just, I would just watch a lot of movies and cry a lot in the movies, and I felt like I was just working it out in the movies. You know, even a romantic comedy 
can make you weep on a plane, I think. You could be watching Brides. Yes, planes uh, make people very emotional. Yeah, yeah. So no, was, that's true. There's I a felt study like done I was on doing, that. getting my emotional sort of exercise just flying around places. No, I, I disagree. I don't think that works. I yeah. think stopping analysis is like saying, you know, I used to brush my teeth, but I'm fine now. Do They're you clean. think I should go back? I think, I think that if you're prone or, or receptive to that kind of thing, then you, it's an act of self-robbery not to. That's actually like, that's you interesting. Know, yeah. I think that you would clearly respond to it very, very well. You're undoubtedly very, very clever. Why not investigate yourself a little bit? Okay, more? I'm going back. Mm, good. But get, for that. But get a good uh, therapist. It's very important. Do you have a recommendation? Yeah, I do, actually. Yes. Do? I do. Uh, are you in Los Angeles? Yeah. Uh, well, I'll talk to you afterwards okay, about this. I mean, very, very clever person. Okay, I didn't think that was going to happen today, but I'm glad it has. Well, you see, you've got to remain open to the possibilities of life. I'm totally open. Yeah, well, hooray for that. I am. Uh, <laughs> Gotta do the job. <laughs> so where have you been traveling around to then? Anywhere exciting? London. I was in London for six months. Oh, that's absolutely top-notch. Yeah. Have yeah. You, have you lived there? I did. I used to live there, yeah. You know what's crazy about London is they have a very different culture around drinking there. Oh, yeah, they like to. They, yeah. they like to get annihilated yeah, because the pub closes at 11. So right. it's just like a race to get really drunk before the pub closes. <laughs> so right around like 10.30, 10.45. West End of London? Crazy. Yeah, totally. It, the, it, the streets run chunky with vomit. Yeah. They really do. They actually it's do. unbelievable. The level of public drunkenness in London is spectacular. And remember, I've been to Boston. I mean, it's... <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable, worse, right? Worse than Boston. Yeah, I think it's you kind of don't know in the streets whether people are having fun or they're running from something terrible that has happened. It's just... It's a little of both, I think. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. Well, hmm, I wish I could talk to you longer, but unfortunately... Um, it's time. It's commercials time. What if it's Well, you want to stay for the end of the show? We yeah. can sneak in a little extra bit then. Let's do, dude. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll be right back after this. Uh, <laughs> We're back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can still talk. We're just talking about transpersonal psychology. Yeah, I was going to explain what that is, which is this idea that, that we're kind of all connected. So rather than just looking at the psychology of the individual, you're looking at a kind of more of a collective well, that's, conscious. That's, that, well, that's a Jungian idea, isn't yeah. it? The, the, the collective unconscious. Yeah. Although uh, that apparently, you know, there was he stole it from somebody else. But Who did he steal it from? Well, someone else in the collective unconscious, I suppose. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, no, I don't, I don't think he, he would have done that. I don't I see don't, that. I usually don't believe those stories about theft. Like when they say that Shakespeare stole... Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. I think no. it's all written by one guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, one guy couldn't have written all this. Oh, really? Why not? Yeah. He had a pen. You know, and probably uh, lots of paper. Yeah, tons of paper. And, t and the interesting thing about how Shakespeare wrote, like all the co comedies were written before his son's death and all the tragedies were written afterwards. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's fascinating. He, he, his, his whole, you know, psyche changed after the death of his son. And then he started writing tragedy. Mm -hmm. What was his first tragedy? I think it was Hamlet. His son's, his son's name was Hamlet, I believe. Uh, and then he wrote uh, Hamlet. I think, I think that was the first one, but I, I'm not a scholar. Do you know, I when I was younger, I used to do these plays where I would mix Shakespeare with the best music videos on MTV, <laughs> and I would mash them up together, and I would charge my neighbors lots of money to come see them. And I did one that was Michael Jackson Presents Hamlet. And so, like... Sounds like a thriller. It was. Yeah. The ghost would come out, and then it would break into, like everyone doing the thriller dance and I would charge my neighbors like 20 bucks to come see it. And Where the hell did you grow up? <laughs> Well, the thing was, I would cast their kids in the play. So ah. if they wanted to come see the play, they had to pay. I made a fortune. I'm, I'm broke by comparison. Well, ah, we'll get on. Oh, listen, we've got to go. The show's finished. Oh. Uh, sorry, Michael. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>